Life is truly beautiful. We live in a world where we are encompassed by bastions of it. But sometimes it seems hard to believe how all this originated from a once dead wasteland. Here's where the panspermia hypothesis comes in. It states that life, as we know it, didn't originate from Earth, but it came from space, transported Earth from somewhere else, maybe by accident or maybe not. I first read about this hypothesis in the science fiction book Deception Point, and it really intrigued me, enough to a degree where I would make a video on it. At one point in Earth's existence, about 3.8 billion years ago, our planet underwent heavy bombardment from meteors, and evidence shows that life too originated at that time. These dates do coincide. It was also at the same time that the Earth's oceans formed, as many comets crash into Earth, bringing water in the form of ice. This, however, is far from solid evidence that life originated from other planets. For one, how would organisms survive the remote harshness of space, the blistering ionizing radiation and the complete lack of air to use for respiration? Scientists have discovered extremely resilient species of microbes, which can you heard it, survive in temperatures as low as minus 196 degrees Celsius, the temperature of liquid nitrogen. One of the most resilient extremophiles are the tardigrades. Some of these little creatures can withstand temperatures as low as minus 271 degrees Celsius, and some can withstand radiation from space. In fact, in 2007, the European Space Agency sent about 3,000 organisms into low Earth orbit. And hear this, the tardigrades survived for almost 12 days outside the space shuttle. This goes to show how tough life can actually be. But you may argue that the tardigrades have evolved to be like this, and you're right, life in its basic form may not have been so resilient. Carbon compounds are the fundamental building blocks for life. Many asteroids which have crashed on Earth have had traces of these, and some have even contained traces of life-sustaining amino acids. But this is just matter which could have been formed by accident and by no means are actual living things. Another problem, the interplanetary distance of our universe is huge, we're talking hundreds of millions of kilometers. The time taken for panspermia to happen would be enormous, too long for most living things to survive. So however edifying this topic may be, it still comes with a lot of strings attached. And even if life did come from space, how did it originate over there? It's still amazing to think how our very little descendants could have been riding about massive space rocks, millions of kilometers deep into cold, cold, but awesome space. Let me know what you think about this topic.